The Singnavidae are a family of fish which includes the seahorses, the pipefishes, the pirpe horses, and the leafy, ruby, and weedy sed dragons. The name is derived from Greek, syn, meaning fused, or together, and gnathos, meaning jaws. This fused jaw trait is something the entire family has in common. Description and biology Singnavids are found in temperate and tropical seas across the world. Most species inhabit shallow, coastal waters, but a few are known from the open ocean, especially in association with sargassum mats. They are characterized by their elongated snouts, fused jaws, the absence of pelvic fins, and by thick plates of bony armor covering their bodies. The armor gives them a rigid body, so they swim by rapidly fanning their fins. As a result, they are relatively slow compared with other fishes, but are able to control their movements with great precision, including hovering in place for extended periods. Uniquely, after synthid females lay their eggs, the male then fertilizes and carries the eggs during incubation, using one of several methods. Male seahorses have a specialized ventral pouch to carry the eggs, male sea dragons attach the eggs to their tails, and male pipefish may do either depending on their species. Seahorses and pipefish also have a unique feeding mechanism, known as elastic recoil feeding. Although the mechanism is not well understood, seahorses and pipefish appear to have the ability to store energy from contraction of their apaxial muscles, which they then release, resulting in extremely fast head rotation to accelerate their mouths towards unsuspecting prey. Classification, subfamily Hyacampinae, Genus Hippocampus. Images of species. References. External links. Singnavidae at the Encyclopedia of Life, Froese, Reina, and Daniel Pauli, Ed Singnavidae in Fish Base. January 2006 version. Seahorses and their relatives, Smith, J. L. B. 1963 Fishes of the family Singnavidae from the Red Sea and the Western Indian Ocean. Ichthyological Bulletin. Number 27. Glamsdown, Department of Ichthyology, Rhodes University.